Greetings, my name is Neo Second, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Silent Bomber. Now, in the last episode, we learned of Yuta's tragic backstory about and about mainly how he was basically unwittingly used to commit various war atrocities, and then fast forward to the present day, we're basically fending off an invasion uh, invasion force, or mainly an invasion ship, a big dumb invasion ship, from a. Uh, from a huge, uh, from a huge uh, economic slash religious uh, space federation force thing. I already forget the damn name. That basically is coming to our planet called Hornet and is being all like submit or die. And well, Hornet is like no you, and they basically sent me and a handful of other, uh, well, ragtag prisoners. They are basically uh, being sent on what would otherwise be a suicide mission to try to blow this ship up and pretty much earn our freedoms if we succeed. Did they actually explain that in the last episode? Or was that something I also need to look for in the manual? Oh, whatever. If they didn't, then, well, I just explained it to you well, at least why everybody's there. So, you can thank me. you can thank me later or you can thank me never. It doesn't really matter. So, so far, my, uh, I'd say that besides my actual landing onto the ship itself, my invasion of the Dante is going pretty well. Everything around me is basically burning to cinders within a 20 meter radius of me. And now I'm going to finally mess around with these E-chips that I've been collecting. I think I'll keep the e-chips that I have here put into my bombs and as I get more I will increase my range and then maybe do something about my shield too Cause, yeah I forgot that I also have a shield that I could have been using probably if I could just remember exactly which button I need to push in order to use it so, let's just go ahead and resume our uh, invasion of this big dumb battleship, shall we? Mission 05. I received an SOS from Tim and the others in the lander. Just as they were heading for the catapult to meet up with me, they were surrounded by the enemy. Damn it. These guys are nothing but trouble. Operation. Fight off the enemy and protect the lander. Yeah, well, these guys may be trouble, but they are probably your only chance here to getting to, to being able to feel something resembling human emotion again. So you need to save them and let them annoy the shit out of you until you feel that human emotion, whether you want to or not. And then you'll probably become happier and more likable and probably sound a lot less, well, tone deaf every time you utter a syllable. Can't you shake them? I can't get any more thrust! Thrust harder! Damn, we're going down! You can't get any more thrust than just use the thrust you got and then thrust harder. Actually, never Tim, mind. That sounds okay? bad. That sounds pretty bad. Uh, I'm sorry. Moment. Utah, we need your help! Hurry! My directive is to destroy this ship. I'm not here for a rescue mission. I can't believe you! Don't you even care what happens to your teammates? No. Listen, Utah, I'm ordering you! Proceed to the lander at once and repel the enemy! Roger. Could you just please sound something that doesn't sound... Tim, shut Tim. up! I'm... Oh, complained man. Utah. I'll stall them. Shells out there. Man! He's already left. Would you leave me alone? I'm trying to blow up boxes. Okay, you know what? Since there's liquid right there, I'll just use this. Okay, paralysis liquid, that's what it's called. Maybe what? Maybe it's called paralysis liquid because anything that comes into contact with it does so much damn damage here that the sheer pain that is probably being experienced by whatever it's basically afflicting is so great that you can't help but be almost completely paralyzed 
by literal pain. That's that's the only theory I got going for me as to why it's called that, because it seems to me that every, everything I've tried this dumb thing on hasn't actually stopped anything in its tracks. Slow down, maybe, but not to stop it. Okay, is there a way I can go down? I see a, I see a way down there. There's gotta be a way down. Where do I go? Here? There we go. We got something. Thanks for the ride. Can we go down, please? Never mind. I guess I gotta go this way. Too slow, assholes. I'm now one floor beneath you. And you are annoying. Gimme. You son of a bitch! I want to use this liquid before I picked up more of it. You ruined it. I hope you go to hell. Oh, why not? There's even more right there. I can only imagine how bad oh, how bad things are going over at the landing pad right now. Because I'm not exactly uh, hurrying to get over there. Napalm! Hey, get back there! You son of a bitch! Okay, never mind. I guess I need to be here. False alarm. My apologies. I hope I'm finding every one of these e-chips. I'd hate to miss some. Because I like being... I like... I like being all powerful. And don't you punch your... You son of a bitch! You... Watch where you're aiming! Would you, Utah, actually look where you're aiming? Maybe I should have put some e-chips on the range thing. Oh no! Our shields are down to 60%! Oh hush. It could be a lot worse. Whoops. Yeah, next next time I get an intermission, I'm definitely increasing my uh, range for sure. I think that'll definitely help me a bit going forward. At least they're not aiming at my ship. through that with our next intact, huh, John? Trading shots with hard shells without wearing any armor. You're one crazy geezer. Not as crazy as a man who charges head first into battle to save his crewmates. Hey, I was ordered I was to. Only following orders. That doesn't change the fact that you risk your own life in order to rescue us. Thanks. Tim, report on the lander's condition. That is gratitude, well, Utah. Well, messed up. Do you know what gratitude it. is? It appears we'll have to figure out another route. Utah, see that bulkhead right over there? It's the only one there. I want you to go back inside the ship. Now you... Well, I wanted to hurt you, not the ship, but, well, whatever. I'll take what I can get. Is there anything in here I can use before I leave? Yes. No, 
was even better than I was expecting, and it would be. I thought I'd get it C rank. Let's go ahead and save my data. Now let's put... Hmm. I guess it's better than nothing. Next mission. The linear liner is just ahead. Be careful. Nobody's here. The linear liner is an automated train that ferries cargo. Even the loading and unloading is automated. That means I can hitch a ride with the cargo all the way to the main area, huh? I would think that it would be wise to at least have security Lieutenant. or maintenance crew here. Have you heard from Benoit yet? No. I've tried repeatedly to reach him, but there's no response. Do you have any information on his status? I don't. We'll now infiltrate Linear Liner. To me, it's obvious that he's just deliberately ignoring you. Security gets tighter the deeper I go. Good for me, because I need a good challenge. I've done everything I can to sabotage their security system. What? You're not going to say flawless this time? Hmm. You've got one screwed up personality, you know that? All right, so it is true that they saw through our codes and they ambushed us. But every single decision I made was the correct one based on the simulation. What simulation? All based on simulation, huh? Oh, you mean the simulation just to infiltrate what? this place? Well... Wow. Does all of your combat experience make you such a big shot? Well, it certainly makes you less prone to just... Is killing people something you can really feel proud about? I want you to know that I joined the military in the hope of supporting peace on our planet. An idealist. Proud. I have never taken pride in killing or destruction. Huh? This is all I have ever trained to do. I didn't know I had any other choice. Look, Yuta, I'm... Yuta! Get out of there! Henri. You know, of how slow that you blink your eyes, you look like as though you're just half asleep. Our transmission was intercepted. Which I guess kind of fits your tone of voice in general, because... Maybe you're just sleep-deprived in general? That would explain That would explain a few things, actually. Mission 06. I was suddenly cut off from Henri. And then the linear rail jerked to a halt. Looks like our transmissions were intercepted. When I jumped out, I took shelter in a giant power cable. Operation, find a way out. Hey, you talk. How does it feel? How's what feel? feel? Does it make you nervous that you've lost your commander? There's nothing to worry about. You've only lost someone who was tying you down with orders. Come on, Utah. Cut yourself loose. Call up those killer instincts and reclaim who you really are. <laughs> you were just trying way too hard to be evil, buddy. I'm, I don't really find you scary. What was I thinking? Or Barry, what was I not thinking? That barely gave me any time to react. Whoa, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, 
Get out of there, get out of there, get the hell out of there. Yeah, they, yeah, this camera's not doing me any favors in this place. Could also be doing a better job dodging some of this shit too, but I mean, that camera's not helping matters. Whoa. Still find more e chips. best off just trying to look ahead as far as possible. I'm tempted to just rush right through everything, but so far that's just getting me shot left and right. Actually, no, I should go this way, I think. I'll just go in a circle. I'll take the napalm, though. Oh, man, that was close. I hope you guys have, like, a uh, little, uh, ID tag things here that have, like, a magnetic field within, like, ten feet around you to where if you just pass through here, none of your death traps will just activate and try to basically eviscerate you or vaporize you or anything like that, because if you guys don't have anything like that, then getting around this ship must be a colossal pain in the ass. OSHA would have a field day at this place. Can somebody please give me some health? I'm kind of running low, and oh man, that was close. And I'd kind of like to feel a little better about myself physically, in a very literal sense, if that's okay. Okay. Go. Hey, uh, another non-Metal Gear thing, from what I can see. I think I'll just call them Crap Bots. Even though they don't exactly have pincers, but laser cannons. Okay, can somebody please get me out? Okay, I kind of flew right into that one. That's totally my fault. But seriously, can somebody please give me some health? I'm getting very close to death's door, and it's making me nervous. Why am I just being so damn careless right now? Okay, I... Please, please give me something. Please give me something. This is not something! You son of a bitch! No. Oh boy, hey, at least I'm not dead. Okay. Let's try to go a little slow here until I can find something to punch my health with! Oh boy. Not good. Oh god. Oh god. Oh man. Oh my god, I, I killed myself. Is this... really... the end? No, it's not. So get your ass Roger up. That. I'm going back out. I hope I, I hope I don't have to do this whole damn mission over. Okay, I, actually no, it doesn't look like... I think I found a checkpoint, so that's good. At least they were kind enough to restore my health. Ow.
Let's try this again. That didn't work for me. Neither did that. Okay, that you asked for it. Somewhat worth it. Not entirely worth it, but somewhat worth it. At least I got an each chip out of that too. Burn! You're still alive? really needed that. I think the game's starting to take pity on me, giving me bigger health items. I don't think, although I don't think that a system like that is in place for a game like this, but it'd be nice to think that at least cares enough to take pity on me to this extent. Let's try to avoid using more of my movements. You almost had me, but not quite. Oop. Ow. place is a death trap. An, over, an overly expensive, or overly glorified, big, dumb death trap. You want, you want to subjugate a planet? Just send everybody that you can into this place. That will be enough. And then you'll have incompetent morons like me that you run around in here, and after like a minute or two of this, well, maybe half of maybe half of the idiots like me here will want to just give up here and just and just bring up the white flag. Boom! World domination right there. Give us all to give up here because we're just tired of being attacked left, to right, and center. I mean, speaking for myself personally. I'm okay, all things considered, but I know that there's plenty of other people like me who would probably 
not fare so well in my position. Can I jump up there? Yep. Oh, hey, get back up there. There we go. I'll be lucky if I get a C rank after this. Wait a minute, am I going the wrong way? I am, aren't I? Okay, I'm hearing... I'm getting somewhere. I'm not talking a whole lot, I'm just trying to concentrate because, I mean, I'm doing very bad, very badly by my standards and I need to redeem myself a little bit and try to concentrate. See what I mean? I need to concentrate harder. Okay, I'm alive again. Hello, crab bot Mach 2. But I see you're just as friendly as your uh, older sibling. Here, have some of this. Definitely nastier than your sibling, that's for sure. But for some reason, I'm also a bit off, too, so... I just had the whole deck stacked against me. Let's, let's, let's mess with my E units a bit more. Okay. Maybe by the time I reach uh, range 3, I'll have a uh, good range to mess around with. That's my hope. My, how disturbing. Planning to burn your friends, too? Get off your ass Gina, and help. Aren't you supposed to be backing up the lieutenant? Yeah, but she's been captured. 
<laughs> Don't make those scary faces at me. There's nothing I could do. Where did they take her? Don't tell me you're planning on rescuing her. She is my commander. Hey, you're not worried about that uptight chick, are you? A commander is necessary to continue this operation. Is that so? Well, all right then, Yuta. I suppose I can tell you where Henri is being held. But in return, I want you to do a little something for me. Well, I I hope that you, I hope for your sake then that uh, well, obviously I'm gonna be doing this little favor here. But if I were in her position, I'd basically count. No, never mind. But you know what? I'm just gonna save my little remark to myself. Mission zero seven, as a condition for her telling me where Henri is, uh, Messino wants me to destroy the air plants in the re residential area. Looks like she plans to use the confusion to save just herself. This is one sly woman. Destroy all air plants. Well, that's also pretty devious. I mean, you're just basically asking me to suffocate 1200 everything. Twelve hundred crew members within this residential sector. Therefore, several dedicated air plants are located in the area. If I destroy them, twelve hundred people suffocate. Take it easy. They'll survive. The backup plan will kick in. But it will cause a big commotion. And then you'll take advantage of the confusion and escape. That's right. I'm coming up. I wonder how many, uh... I wonder how many broken homes are gonna be, uh... It made me lose my train of thought. Well, that's okay. I managed to find a new train. Neo Second, destroyer of homes and dreams. Stick a bomb in his hand. He will, without fact, blow everything that you love to smithereens. Because he just loves you that much. Only someone who, because only someone who really loves you would would go out of his way to blow up everything around you, just for shits and giggles. Here, have some uh, of this. What's in this? What's under this house? I want whatever personal belongings that you have in here that are immune to explosions. Nothing. So pretty much everything in your house is worthless. Because clearly, because clearly in this century, you need to have bombers insurance. If, uh, you know, my whole trek throughout the ship so, so far is any indication, because, well, I would be a very good case for multiple kinds of insurances, I'm, I'm sure. A hell of a lot of them. Get the hell out of my way. Okay, there's one more 
little thing I gotta find. Do you mind? I am trying to suffocate you all. You're in my way. You did it, Utah! The entire residential area is in a panic! Goodbye. <laughs> I'll crush you for sure this time. You sure? Because somehow you don't really strike me as the sort of guy who could get something on the third time. Even though third time is usually the charm for a lot of uh, grunts like us. So, here you go. Have this. Also, take the napalm that you're so kind enough to reveal to me. And stop throwing those things at me. It's my job to blow you up, not the other way around. Goodbye. Where's the lieutenant? Ah, oh, don't be in such a big hurry. Exit that area first. All right, let's see if I can find a couple more items real quick. Like so. I think this is good enough. Let's go. Definitely could have done better here, too. Yeah, this whole thing, this whole Let's Play so far has proven to be a mixed bag as far as my general performance is concerned. At least if all these rankings are an indication, frankly... I feel like I'm doing pretty bad. Half the time, anyway. I think I'll just go ahead and cut the episode off here. We can uh, continue looking for our beloved commander and continuing our more of our wanton destruction throughout this big dumb battleship in the next episode. And maybe by the and maybe for the next episode, I'll be able to put on a better show for you guys. Because I'm frankly quite sorry to see you got. I'm. If I could just speak. Because frankly, I'm quite sorry that you guys had to see me fumble around like this today. So, uh, yeah, I hope. Like I said, I hope you guys did manage to find some enjoyment in this episode. If you did and you want to see more content from me, then, well, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next time. Take care.